weed. It's fantastic for oxygenating the water. I think I'll just pop it there. It'll be okay. <gasps> Hello, scientists. Welcome to day five, our last day of our Wonder Zone Holiday Club. Today, we're looking at the wonders of making the right choices. Now, I think I can see Professor Upsa's great invention here. Mmm, I'd love to have a look. Shall I? Oh, hang on. He's going to be really upset if I look at it before he's shown me. I'll go and find him and I'll be back. I'll be back in a minute. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to jump up and down, going to spin. Oh, no. What have I done? Alfie's special robot. He is going to be absolutely be devastated. I can't tell him. I can't. I'm too ashamed. Is it good? 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 Wait, wait, wait. What? What's going on here? Oh. What is this? My pond weed. Oh, did you do it? No, 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 no. I didn't do it. Honest. Oh, it's soaking wet. I think oh. it's all over. Oh, is my. it broken? I don't know, let me check. Oh, I forgot. Ah. <laughs> Alfie, put a waterproof cover on. A waterproof on. cover, look at this. Oh, but, oh, oh can we see it there? Yeah, look at this. Wow, look at that. It's a special robot. And what's his name? His name is Z256. That's a cool it's name, really that is. good. So it's almost done. So I'm going to show you. The whole thing in a minute, but it's, it's super cool. It's super it cool. It looks super cool. Yes. Can we use it for today's experiment? Yes, absolutely. I'll show you. I'll okay. show you. When we're getting ready, have a sing of this song. Such a lot when you got not a lot. What? Be happy. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna dip in the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna dip in the crowd, gonna send my A lot when you got not a lot. What? Be happy. So yesterday, we found out 
how impressive our bodies are, how God has designed us all intricately and how all the bits fit together. Scientists try and copy this. They call it artificial intelligence. It's a bit like Professor Ups's intelligence, to be honest. So what he's done is that he's put lots of circuits and microchips into the robot and it talks to it from the remote control. So we're going to have an experiment now to see how we can control the robot choices. I think he's out of control already. watching that robot. It looks great fun, didn't it, Professor Crafty? So today we're going to be making a robot. That's right. We're going to be using all those boxes you've got around the house to make your very own robot. So get what you need, kids, and we'll see you back here in a minute. Okay, kids, so today we're going to make a robot. So you need to have a box you're going to use as the body, okay? You need to make sure you've sellotape down, okay? You sellotape both sides down and decide what you want as your front. We're then going to take the head, okay? So this is the box I'm gonna use as the head and I'm gonna put some um, sticky tape and I'm gonna wrap it round like this. And then I'm gonna place it on the box on the top and place the head on top. Okay, so this is the head of the robot and this is my robot, okay? I'm then going to take a box, okay? And with that box, I'm gonna cut it in half using the scissors, okay? So I've used the scissors to cut the box in half and these are gonna be the arms. So sellotape down the top, take a bit of stronger sticky tape, okay? So strong sticky tape, and then we're gonna stick these on as the arms of our robot, okay? okay so that we've got a closed box. We then take our tape, stick our tape halfway, and that's gonna be another one of our arms, so that the arms can move up and down, okay? So that's our arms. Now for our legs. For our legs, we're going to use toilet roll tubes. I'm sure you've got some of these at home. Okay. And we're again going to use our strong tape. So if you have any tape like this at home. Okay. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to cut off a big piece. Okay. So we're going to take our robot lying down. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my tape halfway down, okay, and then I'm going to carry on the rest of the leg so that my robot's leg becomes covered in silver. And again for this one. Okay, so halfway down. And place it there. So, here's my robot. Okay, not sure that you can see the whole thing. Okay, so now we can paint our robot. So, we 
is our paint. Okay, we've got lots of different paints and a paint brush. Okay. And now we can paint our paintbrush. So I'm going to paint mine yellow because most of it is yellow. So I'm going to carry on. Okay, and you can paint your robot any colour you want. You can stick stickers on it. Okay. You could stick paper on it and then cut the and then go over the paint. You can use felt pens. Okay, so it's up to you how you want to paint your robot. Okay, so I might want to then do a different colour for his head, but this time I'm going to use a felt pen to colour in rather than paint. And then what you might do is get some paper and you might want to cut out some eyes. Okay, so you could do your eyes or you can drop through the eyes better. okay and then with this take your glue stick stick your eyes on your robot and watching Robbie the robot here being made. He can walk. Glad you had some fun. We're going to hear the Bible passage from Luke 15 all about the fact that we have the choice. We have choices in life and we can choose to follow Jesus. And you can even take your robot along. You sure can. So get comfortable and get ready for the Bible passage. All the best. See you kids. Bye. Bye. Jesus. You may have already met him at the Wonder Zone, or perhaps this is the first you've ever heard of him. Jesus lived around 2,000 years ago in a land called Judea, but he was no ordinary man. Yeah, he breathed and ate and slept like everyone else, but he was also completely different. He was also God. Jesus did so many amazing things. He made a blind man see, he calmed a raging storm, he fed thousands of people with some small loaves of bread and a few fish. He told wonderful stories about birds and plants, rich men and farmers, bakers and businessmen. One day, Jesus was teaching a large crowd of people and he told them this story. Once there was a man who had two sons. One day the younger son said to his father, hey dad, can I have my share of what you'll leave behind when you die? Can I have it now? You might expect the father to say no, but he didn't. He gave his younger son what he had asked for and off the son went. He travelled to a far off land where he wasted all of his money, all of it, every single penny. Then a terrible famine hit the land. There was very little food and anyway, the younger son had no money to buy any. The only job he could find was to take care of some pigs. Now, people from the land of Judea didn't like pigs. They weren't allowed to eat them or even touch them. And here was the son having to feed the pigs. One day, it got so bad that he looked at the pig's food and wondered if he could eat that. Even the workers on my dad's farm have enough to eat. And here I am starving to death, he said to himself. I'll go home and say sorry to dad. I've been too awful to still be his son, but maybe he'll treat me like one of his workers. 
all the way home, he practised his speech. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming and ran to meet him. The younger son started to say sorry to his dad, but his father just hugged and kissed him. He called out to his servants, bring clothes and shoes and prepare a great feast. My son was dead, but now he's alive. What a party. But do you know who wasn't partying? The older son. He was so angry. He'd stayed with his dad and worked on the farm, but had his dad ever thrown a party for him? No. And here was his brother, the waster of all that money, feasting on all the best food. The father tried to persuade his older son to join the celebrations. Son, everything I have is yours, but your brother was lost, but now he has been found. When Jesus finished this story, I wonder what the people listening to him thought. I wonder what you think. you will come and live in my heart and be with me forever. I love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Amen. 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 That was fabulous. That was good. Kinds, his handy works all around us and play. 
blame for all to see He's one who cares So he even casts the hairs upon my head It's a wonderful, 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 wonderful world It's an utterly marvelous, totally glorious, simply incredible world And as we stand amazed, we will sing out in praise to the God who made it all does the sun drink from? I don't know. What does the sun drink from? From sunglasses. Sunglasses. <laughs> I got a better one. Where do sheep go on holiday? I know that one. Go on then. They go to the moon. No, that's the cows. Oh yeah, that's right. The yes. sheep go to the Bahamas. <laughs> to Bahamas. <laughs> but besides all the yeah. fun we've had this week, what have we learned? Day one, yeah. we learn about being wise, to think before you act, that's very important. To be wise, yes. yes. Okay, day two, we learn that God is the creator of the whole universe. It's big, it's isn't it? Very big. But on day three, we learn about the light, that Jesus is the light. Oh, I spent ages trying to find him, didn't I? Because he was blindfolded. <laughs> day four, we went to my pond and we found out all these wonderful creatures. But no matter how wonderful they are, we learned that we're even more special, so special, that Jesus went to the cross and died for us. That's right. And today, yeah, we look at the robot. It's cool. Even they are really, really cool. God don't, doesn't want us to be like robots. He no. gave us free will. He wants us to choose for him. He wants us to choose for him or it's our choice whether we choose for him or not. That's fantastic. So we've learned a lot, haven't we? Absolutely. We've had lots and lots of fun and now it's time for a rest. So if you want to stay in contact with us, you can through our Instagram or our Facebook and we can still have conversations and hope that we'll see you in your school soon and we hope that you see you in kids clubs and all the rest of it. Keep an eye out on our pages for what we're doing next. So, are you ready for your holiday? I am, look, here we go. I am. Here we go. We and don't forget, Professor Upset, you need some seed. Oh, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful 